baby willow what are you doing girl you like them teething toys welcome back everybody today we're going to go over the teething toys that baby willow has and which ones we think are the best and which ones we think she likes the best starting right now Alright, so Willow is five months old now. She's almost six months old and she is teething really bad right now. She's starting to saturate all her clothes. I actually just put this outfit on her a few minutes ago and she's already completely soaked. So she, I would say that she's going to pop some teeth here anytime. In the meantime, we have been using different teething toys for her, just like this one. It's just like a little rattle, spins, has different places that she can bite on. She likes to hold them and put them in her mouth. <laughs> All right, some of the best teething toys that we think are available is the ones that you can put in the freezer. You can freeze them and they're good on their gums. The only thing I don't like about them is they're a little bigger and you kind of, she ain't too well holding stuff quite yet. And you kind of got to hold it in her mouth for her but she really likes it when they're cold. And they're all different colors where they can learn their colors. And now this one right here is a baby elephant. This is one of her favorites because it's got the little, it's got the, I don't know what it is inside of it, makes all the noises. And then also has little gummy things on the end that she can chew on. But she really likes this one. She likes to cuddle with it. <laughs> But she definitely likes the sounds of it. So anything that has a sound like that, I would say to get it. Because they'll like it. She wants it right now. <laughs> Alright, now these, we got them on Amazon. They're kind of a newer teething toy that you can buy. These all come in one box. And uh, she likes them. And they're probably the best ones that babies can hold and use themselves. <laughs> <laughs> But it also, you know, it helps their brain develop quicker with colors and their fruits. The only thing I don't like about these, I'm not too sure. It all depends on how big your baby's mouth is. Yeah, because sometimes she'll like gag on it. One time she did. Yep. She can put them down her mouth pretty far and she'll start gagging on them. Which, I mean, they're definitely too big to actually get lodged in her throat or anything like that. I'm not sure the brand of these, but there will be a link. We'll put a link down in the description if you're interested in them. Now this is another one we have. It's kind of like a lion, and it's got multiple things she can chew on. And it also rattles, and it also has that sounding stuff inside of it. Just like the elephant. She liked this when she was a little younger. She fell asleep cuddling with it. I would say definitely anything that has rattles or noises or has this stuff in it, some kind of plastic material or whatever it is, that crunches is definitely a good toy for them. They like that sound and they can also chew on it and it will make that sound. And these newer ones, I'm not too sure about yet, but they also they do have good reviews on Amazon. All right, here's another one. It is a mitten. This is probably our least favorite, or at least my least favorite. She does not like it on her hand too much. And it's kind of bulky and she can't really get it in her mouth quite very good. She don't chew on it very much at all. Yep, see? <laughs> She'll chew on it a little bit, but the purpose of it on her hand, she don't like it. All right, so another thing we have is this little toothbrush that you can just put on your finger, and it's supposed to help relieve gum pain, and it also promotes their dental hygiene. You just put your finger in there, rub it on their gums, Do you like that? Right, so there's two parts to it. There's a bristly part to brush her teeth with. And then also if you just want to rub her gums, there's little, um, what would you call those? Like raised bumps, Bumps, I guess. I guess. Yeah. Sometimes I'll just do this if she's being really fussy and I'm thinking that her gums are hurting pretty bad. I'll just rub them on there for a little bit. So if you guys are interested in one of these, you can find these at the dollar store or Walmart and they're pretty cheap. Okay, so we also have these bibs. They're really nice because they have a teething toy at the bottom of it. 
and they can kind of hold on to them all day and if she slo she usually slobbers everywhere so these keep her from getting um, slobber all over her shirt and it's a, made out of a really nice material it's like a really super soft um, almost like t-shirt material all right so yeah I would uh, highly recommend these and I think they are from Amazon we got them as a gift so I'm not quite sure all right if you guys are interested in any of these I'm gonna put the links in the description below on some of the TV toys we showed you in this video and we will catch you on the next one